I like helping out kids. I like to volunteer. So when 56 year old Oscar Cantu's grandson, he's the five year old you see here second on the left, asked him to coach T-ball again this year, he said yes. With the little blue eyes he has, I couldn't say no. On Saturday, all of the kids you see in this team picture, plus one who is missing, were here at Morris Mathis for their game. It was the first uh, day of tournament. We try and have fun. Kevin Weinberg was out here at a different diamond on Saturday. Pretty soon I heard somebody yell, there's a fight going on. And then all of a sudden, as we were arguing, I was on the ground. I didn't see it coming. I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't know what happened. Cantu admits there was bad blood between him and the opposing coach right from the beginning. Weinberg had to tell him to cool it in the first inning. We don't tolerate that in any of our parks. But when he came back the second time. I was on the ground and then I got up and, and I knew one of, uh, a couple of my kids were crying. Next thing he knew, he was bleeding and the police were there. Police say one coach claimed to have been assaulted by the other one. A third man stepped in and quickly ran off. The other coach, 32-year-old Anthony Borders of South Bend, was arrested for assault and Cantu was rushed to the hospital with multiple injuries, including to his right ribs and thigh. But I did have a broken nose and broken blood vessels in my eye. If these punches and everything wasn't thrown, uh, fine, it would have been fine, but I'm, I'm not going to let somebody just uh, punch me the way they did and then they think they're going to get away with it. I, I will press charges. 